So today I'll be making a tutorial for you all and this time I'm making a light motion tutorial. So without any further ado, just create your project and add your clips. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and turn on the notification button so you won't leave any of my new videos. Okay, so I'm going to use Kim Hyun's picture as an example in my project. I'm going to add three of her pictures as my clip. Okay, so now I'm gonna add her second picture. So as you see, the picture isn't quite square enough, so I'm gonna fill it to the screen and mask it so it will be a perfect square for my project. Okay, so after you crop your things and set your clips, now I'm gonna add a shape and fill it to my screen. Now go to blending and opacity and add mask. Now you have to crop your shape and make it as long as your clip. Here I'm cropping and now I'm masking my clip and group it into one group. So now I'm gonna add my third picture. Okay, so as you see, the third picture isn't quite square enough, so I'm gonna mask it for the second time. Just press on your clip and fill it to your screen. Tap it once and it will be square. So I think the third picture doesn't need a mask, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. Now go to your first clip and add in a vac. Go to distortion and wrap and add tiles. Don't change anything and just leave it like that and add the same evac to all your clips. After you add all the evacs, go to move and transform and press the first button on the top. Add keyframes and make it like this. On the first keyframe, make it as the original size and on the second keyframe, make it like this. And don't forget to copy my graph. So now press the third button on move and transform and add keyframes. On the first keyframe, make it as the original size and on the second keyframe, make a zoom transition and copy my graph. On the second clip, go to move and transform and press the first button. On the second keyframe, make it as the real size and on the first keyframe, make it like this. And don't forget to copy my graph. Now, go to the third button on move and transform and make a zoom in transition and copy my graph. Okay, as you see, here you have our first transition but now we're gonna make another transition to the third clip. Now group your second clip and move it into the second place. Now go to move and transform for the second time and don't forget to add tiles. Go to avax and go to distortion wrap and add tiles. Now do the same thing as the first clip and don't forget to copy my graph.
So here's the result of the first example and now I'm going to make a second example. Just create your project and import your clips. Okay, so I'm going to use Lejewik's picture in my second example and now I'm going to crop and mask the picture since not all of the pictures were one divided by one. So yeah, stay tuned for the video and don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. So I think I'm running out of the joke's picture. So instead of the joke, I'm gonna use Rowan's picture. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so now I finished cropping and adding the pictures and now I'm gonna add tiles effect to all of the clips I have. Just go to distortion and wrap and add tiles. So now I'm gonna add the keyframes into my clip. On the first keyframe, make it as the real clip and on the second keyframe, make it like this. Now copy my graph. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to the third button and make a zoom out transition. And don't forget to copy my graphs. Okay, so now I'm going to the second clip and add keyframes for the second time. Just go to move and transform and add keyframes. On the first keyframe, make it like this and on the second keyframe, make it as the real size of your clip. And don't forget to copy my graph. So after you add keyframes to all of your clips, you have to group the second clip. After you group your second clip, you have to add tiles. You can find it on Distortion and Wrap. After you add tiles, go to Move and Transform and add keyframes for the second time. And don't forget to copy my graph. Okay, so now go to the third button on Movement Transform and add keyframes for the second time. Make a zoom in transition and don't forget to copy my graph. And for the last clip, you just need to copy the same keyframes and graphs. Okay, so our second example works very good on our project and now I'm just going to export and gather all the clips and examples on the same project. So stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Okay, now it's already done. I'm just going to click save and create a new project and gather all the clips on my new project. So I just realized that I haven't exported the first clip. So I'm exporting again and I'm just going to save it and gather it on a new project. Okay, so now I'm creating a new project and importing all the examples with save. 
I'm gonna put the second example on the first line and I'm gonna put the first example on the second line so now I think it's kind of boring when we have no transition between the first example and the second example so I'm gonna add a zoom in and out transition Okay, so after you finish everything, I'm gonna explore the video and we're gonna watch the result at the end of the video. So stay tuned! Okay, so this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. And I hope you really have a good day and enjoy watching my videos. God bless you!